Hi, my name is Thomas Foster and this is a short tutorial about the vocoder of Bitwig Studios that came up with Bitwig Studios 3.1.1. Okay, what is a vocoder? The vocoder was made in 1936. Uh, it was developed for voice encryption at the military. In the beginning of the 60s, Siemens built the first synthesizer, including a vocoder. For a vocoder, you need a modulator and a carry signal. So the modulator could be a voice. So let's record a voice. Let's record my voice. We go here to record. Thomas Foster, Music Production. Okay. Thomas Foster. Because when it comes to a vocoder, levels are very important that you have a good volume, a good dynamic. Uh, let's add a compressor. Or better to say, we don't want to have a too high dynamic. So we add the compressor. Music Production. Thomas Foster, music production. Oh, this should work for now. So that's the modulator, our voice. In addition, we need something like a keyboard, a guitar, so a monophonic or a chord sound. Uh, for this, we load a synthesizer. Uh, let's go to presets and search for brass, because when it comes to a vocoder, Brass sounds are very good because they have a lot of high frequencies. So let's take the brass dart mm -hmm. and let's add a note here. Why don't we use the A here? Okay. And to make it sounding a little better, I want some chords. I don't have a keyboard. I don't have a keyboard here. Let's go to multi note here. Now we have a chord. And I want to load the transposition map with a C major scale preset I made to take care that everything is in a good scale. Why don't we add some more notes? Okay. Now we go to, we have now the modulator, our voice, and we have the carry signal the keyboard. We don't want to hear the keyboard, so let's put the volume to minus zero. And we go to the audio track, and now on the modulator, on the voice, we load the vocoder. Here it is. Thomas Foster. So we already have our modulator, that's my voice. But now we have to take care to have the carry signal. So we click here on carry. Uh, we don't want to have the brown noise that is coming by default. Uh, we want the audio receiver. And here we take the brass start uh, pre. Thomas Foster. And here it is already. Now the next thing that is important is the volume of our signals. Um, let's play around a little bit with the volume here. Here that's the volume of our modulator, means of the voice. You see the voice in green on this display. Uh, yeah, maybe I, I think it's okay like it is, and but the carry signal Thomas is not Foster. strong enough. Thomas Foster. Uh huh. Uh, maybe we should change the notes here. Here we already could bring some more movement in it. Thomas Foster. Wonderful. So let's take a look to the, all the possibilities we have here. To do this, we select vocoder and go to show help. And now let's see what we have here. We already had this here. That's the modulator gain means the volume of our voice. The next one is the format shift. So the more you go to the right, the more it sounds a little bit Mickey Mouse-ish. So sometimes it's good to go a little bit to the right for the typical vocoder sound. Um, you can control the brightness. 
Also here we could go a little bit to the right. Very nice is this one here that's mono stereo for sure. It sounds better in stereo. So you can control the number number of bands. 48 is amazing. Thank you, Bitwig, for that. But sometimes it really sounds better if you don't have too much. Okay. Uh, the global filter shape. Thomas Foster, new the global bandwidth. Thomas Foster, new and always have in mind if you forget got uh, what you did and you want to go back to default you simply double click it we can freeze the signal so uh, maybe not on the s <laughs> maybe we try to freeze it on the u of music there was a little distortion you can see it in red here what is very good yeah, you see it now so we go back because we don't want to have distortion. Uh, you can control attack and release. Here you have the mix. So on the left side you find your dry modulator. Thomas Foster. Um, here you can put in some effects. For sure it's nice to have a little reverb on it. Let's do this. And it's good if you place your effects here and not behind the vocoder, because then you can save the vocoder as a preset, including your effects. So let's add a little reverb. Thomas Foster, new music production. Great. We go back to the show help. Um, here we can control the volume of the carry signal. Again, that's our keyboard in this case. You can solo your carry signal. Thomas. You can click on the carry signal to see all the plugins you used to create your carry signal. And here in the display, you also have some very useful things. First of all, you see in two keys your uh, modulator, means my voice in this case. We see in yellow, the yellow dots show the carry signal. And the white line displays the signal the vocoder is creating, so the output of the vocoder. We have here two lines. Uh, this is a threshold. The first threshold is a threshold that you take care that you don't have distortion and everything that is on top of the threshold will be uh, limited with the compression. Thomas Foster, new music production. Uh -huh. The second line is something like a noise gate. So especially for live, this is very important because you don't want to have a vocoder on all your noises in the room. Um, you can control the frequencies that are running through the vocoder. So uh, don't go too much down and also too much up. So the default is good, but you can play around with it. And basically, that's it. So thank you, Bitwig, very much for this amazing Christmas present. Oh, I still have one more thing. If you like producing music like me, then you probably know the problem of finding good drum and percussion sounds. Those who came with the music program do not sound right. And on all internet sites where you would get the really good stuff, you pay a fortune. On all? No, not really. There's a web page in whose development I'm involved. Mugent.com Mugent is written with M-U-G-E-N-T and it comes from Musically Intelligent. Mugent. You can find drum beats that sounds exactly like what you hear in the charts or in the big clubs in Ibiza, Miami or Berlin. The web page reminds a little bit of Google. You can just use the text search, get immediately results you can listen to and download for free, or you can use the menus with which you can narrow down the search. On Mugent you can find drum sounds to every genre, 
Music Loops, so complete beats, Percussion Single Sounds and Loops, Cool Bass Riffs, Funky Brass and Synth Riffs, Guitars and all sorts of sound effects from birds to cars, from the sound of the sea to helicopters. With me there is no more production where I didn't use the sounds from Mutant.com. Take a look, you will love it. My name is Thomas Foster, thanks for following, always stay creative, cheers!